Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering decimal models. So we're going to start with a model and then write the decimal that that model represents. And we have five examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now in this specific video, we're going to be working with tenths and hundredths. So let's jump into number one here where we have one big full square here. Now, if that whole square was filled in, that would represent one whole, but we don't have the full square filled in. Now, for number one, that square is cut into 10 equal pieces, so we're going to be working with tenths. Each one of those pieces equals one tenth, but we have multiple filled in. Let's see how many tenths number one represents. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths. So we would write that as a decimal like this. We do not have a whole number, so we can put zero, then decimal, seven. So seven tenths. We can also write it as a fraction, and it would look like this, seven over 10, or seven out of 10, or we would properly say it, seven tenths. Now both that decimal and the fraction hold the same value. They have the same exact name as well, 7 tenths. The only difference, one's a decimal, one's a fraction. So let's move on to number two, where again, that full square, the big square, represents one whole. But we don't have the whole square filled in. So we need to represent something less than a whole with either a decimal or a fraction. Now number two, we have 100 equal pieces within that full square, so we're going to be working with hundredths. Each one of those pieces is worth one hundredth. So let's see how many we have. And we'll start by counting the columns. Each column has 10 hundredths. We don't need to count each individual piece, so we can go 10, 20, 30, and then count the individuals. So 31, 32, 33, 34. 35 hundredths, and we would write it as zero holes, decimal, 35 hundredths. Or in fractional form, 35 over 100, 35 hundredths. So on to number three, where again, we're going to be working with hundredths. Now this time, we don't have any full columns, so we can just count the individual hundredths. And for number three, we have one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths. A very common mistake would be writing it as zero holes, decimal, and then a six in the tenths place. So that represents six tenths. We don't want six tenths, we want six hundredths. So we need zero, decimal, a zero in the tenths to push that six over to the hundredths place. So six hundredths or in fractional form, six over 100. Now, numbers four and five, we're going to involve whole numbers here. Number four, we have one full square filled in here. So that represents one whole. And then our second square, we don't have the full square filled in, so that's where our decimal or fraction comes into play. So this is going to be tenths. Let's see how many tenths we have filled in. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to write out one and six tenths. And it's going to look like this. One and six tenths. Or in fractional form, one and six tenths. On to number five here, where we have two full squares filled in. So this is one hole and then two holes. Now as far as the decimal, uh, or fractional square here, we can start by counting by tens because each of those columns represent ten hundredths. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82. So we have two and 82 hundredths. So two and 82 hundredths or fractional form two and 82 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how we go from a decimal model to the decimal or fraction that that model represents. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.